Okay, you ready for this one? No. I want to harken back to the Antonio Brown thing. I know. For just a moment. Okay. So here's what the Antonio Brown trade scenario told me about Buffalo. Comment, like, subscribe, repeat. If they're willing to take Antonio Brown, then I think they're very secure with the culture. They feel like they could take on a personality like that. Right? Because here's the deal with AB. AB wants to be the most important person in the room. In Buffalo, he would have been. AB wants to get a new deal. Buffalo could have restructured or given him an extension or given him a new deal if they wanted to. They had the draft capital to give up to get him, to get him right? His decision was he didn't want to be here. All right, that's I understand that speculation right now, but that's the rea the truth is that's likely what it is. Okay, that's fine. But um, if Buffalo was okay taking that type of personality, then what does that say about what type of personality they're willing to take if it, if their name's not Antonio Brown? Do you think that them taking it AB is mutually exclusive to the fact that it was AB? Or do you think that they really feel like they've got the culture at one Bills drive and total lockdown that they can take any personality? That's a great, that's a great question. Because that uh, when they when they said they were the trade for AB, that was the first thing that came to my yeah. mind was well, this is this isn't what you talk about. Yeah, unfortunately, the first thing that came to my mind was was, was window dressing. Well, like, no, you didn't find out about it until like six o'clock in the morning because your ass was asleep. I was downstairs in my basement looking like I was floating in space, cutting a video. You did. <laughs> Which, by the way, thank you for everybody that tuned in that video. There were a lot of people that commented that yes. I, we had never talked to, yes. and we ended up with a, a bunch more subscribers. So if this is your first week to the channel, you picked an exciting time to join us. Um, but, I mean, the fact is that th this told us a lot without giving us anything, I think. I mean, well, I, I always thought, I mean, the first thing that I thought about it is it was a, it was a smoke screen. I thought it was an immediate smoke screen. And if you want to go over to our other channel, um, YouTube, our uh, hashtag sports road trip, we, we, we detail, I detail my, my thoughts behind it. But just can, you, quick, can you do me a favor? What? When you're talking about the hashtag road trip thing, can you go back to the Unleash the Fury Mitch clip? Just the, la just the last one where I'm screaming at you. Yes. Road trip! Road trip! Unleash the Fury Mitch. Unleash the Fury. Unleash the fury, Mitch! Boom. <laughs> the thing about it, I thought it was like a smoke screen for a bunch of things. So you you do you definitely bring up some great points to the fact that the culture in here could be amazing and they can handle one big personality like that. There's always one big personality on a team anyway. Right. I mean, or it could have been him. I thought it was Jerry Hughes. To be honest with you, when you take a look at yeah, the players on the yeah. roster, I really expected it to be Jerry Hughes. I took a, a little bit different of a slant to say, all right, well, you're going to villainize AB, and you're going to get gain sympathy for the Bills. The Bills are basically saying, okay, this works out for us because it shows our fan base and our city that we're going out to try to actively find really good players. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. um, we're not all about the culture. We have guys in the locker room that can straighten them out that we think. If they think they can coach guys up, they think the locker room can put a lid on the guy. Mm -hmm. That could be it. What does it say, though, about your wide receivers right now? Like, I wonder how McKenzie and Foster and all them guys felt. Were they excited about he hearing that? Or were they just like, what? I thought we, yeah, I thought, I thought I we thought, were growing. I thought we were, I thought we were good. Like I thought we were doing this right. Um, like I, I, I don't if know. I were Zay Jones, I'd be I'd be pretty scared. Because well, he, if you add a B, it could be a wake up call uh, to the current wide receivers. Yeah, maybe maybe that's a great point. I don't know. I, know like I, Foster, I mean McCoy had to put Foster on the right track during the season, and yes. this was a kid that was on the roster, off the roster, on the roster, off the roster. There's I mean, a, you, there's you, a name maybe, we haven't mentioned, McCoy. Yeah. Talking about personalities on your yeah, team. That's true. That's you know, true. maybe he can wrangle uh, a B. I just I just I, like I looked at it from the a same totally different perspective. Yeah, <laughs> same agent. I, I just I just looked at it from a totally different perspective, where I was like, oh, because I never wanted him here anyway. I thought that the compensation, the things you were gonna have to go up, like like we talked about, 
if you had to give up two seconds for him, that's two starters. Two starters, yeah. four years, controllable contracts. And AB would not be on the team by the time that first contract was over. Right. So it didn't make sense from a, from that kind of a standpoint. If you're a team that has been to the playoffs and or looking to make a run, those are the teams that are going to sign him because he's 31 years old. Right. The guy that said he didn't need football. But what, what, what is his commitment? But then? Buffalo, you know, I think the, the approach here was a decent approach because they wanted to trade for him because if as a free agent, Buffalo has – had a reputation of being a hard place to land free agents. It just is, right? It's mm. Players don't dream to come to Buffalo, right? It's, they don't. It's we're, we're not the premier location for free agency. So trading for players is a prime way for us to acquire talent because they don't get a choice where they go. Yeah. Right? So I understand the theory here, but it really makes you wonder what type of player they could look at, right? And, and whom they really want to bring in. Because you can, if they if they're okay with taking AB, then they're okay with taking just about anybody in this league. So that puts players like Bell back, you know, Bell think, back on the table. I, I, what I'm saying, I'm not saying those players specifically, but I, I'm just saying that, you know, when you look at the scope of the personality, I think Buffalo is way more secure with their identity from a culture standpoint than I think they should be. I think also it may have been a, um, I think it was a wake up call to the rest of the league. Yeah, I think. Maybe. What, Wait, they have this much cap room, and they're going after the big fish. Mm-hmm. What does that say? They need a running back. Mm-hmm. What's to say they won't go after Bell? It gets well, teams talking. Well, they're like, wait, they have all. This could be, you know, what this could be like. Think, think of the brilliance if this actually was the case. Okay. Bell's rumored to go to the Jets. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know you're gonna have to deal with him, so you you equip your defense accordingly. To try to take care of Bell. He's an elite player. No one's ever going to take that away from him. He's on the down. He's on the downhill of 26, 27. So, how many more years he is that effective? I don't know. Uh, but if you think you're, if you send a message to the Jets that you're going after Brown, mm-hmm. and you're willing to sign a big fish, that would unload the Jets' pocket mm-hmm. on Bell, right. thus limiting the amount of free agents they can get right. in the division. Yep, absolutely. So, <clears throat> okay. I'm not you gonna you have that. to rebuild your line. We yeah. just took long from you, mm-hmm. and you're going to spend fifty million dollars on Bell. You're not going to have any money to sign anybody else. Right. The 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 Dolphins are having trouble, and the Patriots are cap strapped and losing players left and right too. Mm-hmm. So this could been this could have this worked out beautifully for the Bills if they get the Jets to open up their pockets for Bell. Now I know that sounds insane. Mm-hmm. However, they're not going to be able to sign the amount of free agents that the Bills will be able to sign because of the amount of money they're going to spend. Right. On Bell. Yeah. It's. So, from a financial standpoint, some posturing with the Bills is definitely a possibility, where the Bills were posturing for a little more than, than really what they had there. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely a possibility. However, when you start looking at these later round draft picks, right, Bills might be taking some bad boys in this draft. You know, guys that, you know, have had some problems oh, on yeah. the field. Oh, yeah. And, you know, the, the fact still remains that we don't know where they are with a lot of this process, right? But yeah. I think they are way more into their identity than I think they should be. Outsider's perspective, right? Mm-hmm. I think they are way more secure with their identity as a football team than they should be. Because when I look at a football team and I look at culture, I, I don't see that I get where they're going, right? Mm-hmm. But you got to be a Boy Scout to play there right now. You really do. So initially, until you can get your program set up, and right. it's been two years, he's the program should be set up, right? Right, so now they're starting to branch out. Mm-hmm. So, again, you see those fourth, fifth, sixth round picks, they might be guys who were high on draft boards, but you know, fell off because of off the field issues. And a lot of people are going to go, Well, this doesn't fit culture. What do you mean? Why are you bring this guy in? This doesn't fit culture. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe culture's maybe the culture's there right now, or they feel like the culture's there right now. So this is the direction they're going to take because they feel they can absorb all the pressure that comes around with it. I mean, it's just food for thought. It is. It is. Because I, I, I love the trickle-down effect of mm-hmm. what happened with all of this news. Now, everyone, there were jokes. There were a lot of jokes made about it. They said, who had a more successful career in Buffalo, Antonio Brown or Nate Peterman? Mm-hmm. It's pretty funny. 
Um, there was other people that were talking about they can't get any free agents, and I understand that and all this other stuff. But the trickle down effect of what happens after this news breaks, all right, it's, it villainizes Brown. Uh -huh. It says, okay, he, there's, what, there's teams he's not willing to go to. <clears throat> all right, well, it tells everyone around the league that the Bills are, are, are serious players or trying to be serious players. Not since they signed Mario Williams has there been that much of a buzz about a big name player from Absolutely. Buffalo. Absolutely. And that so, was 10 years ago. Exactly. So the thing is, all right, we're going to be active. We're going to go out. We're going to try to get some big fish. And it will get teams questioning that they have the oldest backfield in the NFL. Mm -hmm. What's to stop them from going after Bell? Right. What's to stop them from doing it? What's to stop them from going after all of these big name free agents that may cost a ton of money because right. they have the cap to to, right. to, to pay for them? Yep. Every Nothing. Player, every, everybody's, everybody's on notice on, now. Everybody, yeah, everybody's in play for Buffalo. Yeah. Everybody. Any yeah. any free agent of any name is in play for Buffalo. Period. The end. Yeah. That's just if you're willing to go because you may take the hit initially, like oh we couldn't get him to sign here. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that was that that's the that's the usual narrative for everybody. Mm -hmm. Yep. No one wants to play in Buffalo. Well, it is not going to stop us from going out to try to get somebody. We right. throw loads of cash at them, mm -hmm. and um, that's 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 what it does. And it actually, it actually it it villainized, like I said, it villainized Brown, and it made the Bills look like a victim. It also makes Pittsburgh look like a victim. Yeah, because they're held hostage yes, by a player. by this guy. Yeah. Okay. Well, he doesn't want to play there. Let's see what happens. So. It is definitely interesting to talk about. I, I, I loved reading about it. And, and yes, I did go to sleep rather early that night. You're sure dead. It was interesting to wake up to see, oh, hashtag sports posted a live video. I'm like, really? We dead? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. There were a lot of people on it. There yeah. were a lot of people there. That's so again, I'm... anybody that uh, that joined the chaos and mayhem over that video, and that's how you found us, thank you very much. Um, I gotta be honest with you guys, all the new subscribers, this is the best community of subscribers you could ever have. You can have an awesome football conversation with everybody in the comments so section. Um, we, oh, we have to do a shout out to Sir Nathan. We've been promising for weeks. I know, Sir Nathan. Do, you definitely gotta do a shout out. Thank you for subscribing and watching, um, yeah. as, as all of our subscribers. Oh, absolutely. Guys, me, you still haven't shown your driveway, by the way. No, it's so no. annoying. But um, the community keeps growing. We cannot thank you enough for um, all the contributions you guys have made to the channel. It's so much fun making these videos every week. And yeah. we, just, we love all of the comments and everything that go on. And, um, I mean, you guys keep commenting and keep liking them. We're going to keep making them. So, mm -hmm. thanks again. So Yeah, let's get us to 1,000 subscribers. We're let's, close. Let's do that. Yeah, we're close. 1,000 before the draft. Can we get 1,000 before the draft? I don't know. Tell your friends. Yeah, why not?